process. Has closed up. Rock, RC, countdown one. Rock. Verify range is green and go for launch. Range is green. Stage two, locks load, close up. Started. Ground gas close that started. and start up. Seven seconds into flight. Falcon 9 performing nominally. We're currently throttling down the nine Merlin 1D engines on the first stage, preparing for the period of maximum dynamic pressure and going supersonic. Falcon 9 is supersonic. You heard the call out, Falcon 9 is supersonic. We're throttling the Merlin 1D engines back up as we pass through the period of maximum Vehicle dynamic pressure. Maximum dynamic pressure. A minute and a half into flight, trajectory looks good for Falcon 9. seeing the view from a ground camera and obviously we're having uh, trouble with the autofocus but Falcon 9 continues to track downrange well power on the Merlin 1D engines looks good and avionics power looks good MVAC engine chill has begun the MVAC engine chill call out indicates that we have opened the pre-valve we're beginning to chill in the upper stage engine in preparation for ignition now the sequence of events coming up. At T plus 245, we will have main engine cutoff, we'll shut down the nine Merlin engines. The first stage will then separate and we will light the second stage engine. So those activities coming up in just under 20 seconds from now.
We're throttling down the engines in preparation for Miko. Stage one AFTS. We've had eight. successful shutdown and separation. Second stage engine has lit. Major activity coming up in about 14 seconds is separation of the payload fairing. We have fairing separation confirmed. You can see three of the Iridium next satellites of the set of five. And as I mentioned, the gray satellites mounted on top of that, but not visible from the camera. Following the normal trajectory. Three and a half minutes into flight, we've heard the call out. The trajectory is nominal. The power on the upper stage engine is good. plus four minutes since that great liftoff from Vandenberg, a view from the second stage aft facing camera, California coastline, we're headed south towards Antarctica. Now as a reminder, the first stage is not going to be recovered, so there won't be any views from the drone ship downrange on this mission. We're five minutes into flight. Second stage engine power on the MVAC D engine continues to look good. We're running at over 200,000 pounds of thrust in the vacuum of space. Trajectory continues to look good. Power on the second stage from the batteries mounted on the avionics rack continue to perform well. All systems continue to look good on the Falcon 9 carrying five Iridium Next satellites and the two Grace follow-on satellites. plus six minutes and four seconds into flight. Second stage of the Falcon 9 continues to perform nominally. All systems go on Falcon 9 carrying Iridium next and Grace follow on. and your call outs from the propulsion team. Everything continues to look good for the upper stage engine. Now as a reminder, it's six minutes and 45 seconds into flight. This is the first burn. That'll put us into an initial orbit, following which we will deploy the GRACE satellites. We'll then have a second burn that moves us into final orbit for the deployment of the Iridium Next satellites. So stay with us after we get shut down of the engine. Seven minutes into flight. As I mentioned, we'll have two burns. In between will be a 42 minute coast phase between the end of burn one and the start of burn two.
Coming up on eight minutes into flight since launch of Falcon 9 from Space Launch Complex 4 at Vandenberg Air Force Base. We're heading south over the Pacific Ocean, headed towards Antarctica on our first of two burns of the upper stage engine. Now in order to fly a efficient trajectory for both of the payloads, we're actually now running the second stage engine at lower power. That means the burn will be longer. For folks who are used to seeing us shut down the upper stage engine nine to nine and a half minutes into flight, today we'll actually be shutting down the engine just past T plus 10 minutes into flight. That's planned for today. The longer burn at lower power obviously takes more time, but gives us a more efficient trajectory. just past nine minutes into flight. Everything continues to go well. As I said before, we're headed for Antarctica right now. We will have a coast phase once we get shut down of across over the southern polar regions and then en route east of Africa where we will relight the engine. You might have heard a call out behind me. I think some of the employees got a glimpse of one of the other cameras. Uh, and uh, that's nominal on the second stage, so no need to worry about uh, the expressions that you might have heard in the background. Vehicles and terminal guidance. We're coming up less than 30 seconds to shut down of the second stage engine. expected. Tico. We've had shutdown of the second stage engine. We're going to wait for call out on the orbit. Nominal parking orbit insertion. And what we like to hear on the speakers in the background, nominal parking orbit insertion. The first burn of the second stage is complete, but stay with us because in less than a minute, we're going to be coming up on separation and deployment of the two GRACE follow-on satellites. While we can't see the satellites directly from the camera, we're hoping with the wider field of view of the camera that we might catch a glimpse of one or two of them passing through the field of view as they separate away from the dispenser mounted on top of the five Iridium Next satellites. major milestone today. The first satellites have been deployed. We're now going into a coast phase with the second stage with the five Iridium Next satellites still attached. We're going to resume coverage of live commentary at T plus 56 minutes, just over under 44 minutes from now. We'll leave you with animations and possibly live views from space as we have ground station contact. So currently everything looking good on Falcon 9 and we'll be back coming up for the relight of the second stage engine and the deploy of the Iridium Next satellites.